This was my grandfather's lamp. And it's been up in the attic for many years. I do not remember the last time that it was actually turned on. Um, it had a light bulb in it that was, what was it, 75 watts? Yeah, 73 watts. 73 it watts. And I kept the light bulb. I have it out in the other room. But um, Kevin is going to put a new cord on it. And a new top. This one's cracked. You can see how badly it's cracked. And even through here, you can actually see the wires coming through. So what I'm going to do is undo the bottom of it, the, the little nut on the bottom, pull the whole thing out, uh, undo this part, pull that whole part out, and then uh, I've just got an old extension cord. It's a little bit bigger than this, but I think it'll work out okay. Uh, as long as we go through that post, that's all that matters. And then I actually had one of these already, this little brass um, thing. So I, I'm hoping it'll, it'll work with that. If it doesn't, then we'll have to go buy a replacement kit for it. Okay, most of these lamps have looks like a nut on the bottom of them. You just undo it. Okay. That's what holds it all together. I'm actually just going to cut this wire off. I think it's going to be too big to go through that rod. So I'll probably have to end up getting another cord, a different cord for that. Okay, I've got a ton of these extension cords. Don't know if it's going to fit or not anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it and, um, and try it out. If it doesn't fit, ah, I'll throw away the extension cord. Who cares? No, nah, it'll fit. I'll just have to shove it up in there. But um, yeah, it'll work. Okay, tried the extension cord. It was just too big to go through the pipe that goes up through there. So went and bought actual lamp cord, uh, which is actually probably as long or longer than what I had anyway. Um, and we, plus we got to pick the color we wanted. We, you had uh, Lowe's that we went to had black and clear, or had brown and clear. So we went ahead and got the clear. Um, online they had gold and black and all kinds of different colors, but this would have been nice anyway. So. Hey, got to put it through the lamp first and just have it all kind of laying out in pieces for a little while. And I like to just thread it all the way through and then tighten it all up when I get done. So. And this one actually goes down through here. What about that pipe? Then it goes up through the pipe. Oh. Then it goes through the center, then it goes through the pipe. So it goes up through the center, because the center comes down through this, and the pipe comes down through this. Now I can do the pipe. And I left my washer on there because that is the top. Wow. Look how much easier this slides in when it's the right side. So don't use an extension cord. Yeah, don't use an extension cord. Just go ahead and spend the six bucks. Someone suggested if you have a Goodwill in your area, you could go to the Goodwill, buy a used lamp, and um, and take the cord off that one. But first of all, it was late, so we didn't. Goodwill wasn't open, and um, we were also thinking if it's used, there's no telling what's wrong with it. it you would have to. Make sure it wasn't broken and make the cord might be broken inside to where you know it's not working anyway. So it's better just get a new one. Um, this is the outlet, the electrical socket. Um, you can pry this up off here. Sometimes you might have to take a screwdriver and take in there and just kind of pry it up, but it pops up. The bottom pops off like that. The electrical part slides out like that. So what you do is you push your wires up through this little center section. That. 
and then you have to get this to where it's going to go to both sides. So I'm going to pull it apart a little bit. And this electrical outlet has a flathead screwdriver tip. All you do is loosen them up, and right inside there, you'll see that the screw pulls back away from that little um, flat piece right there. And then you just stick your wire in there and tighten your screw down. And do that to both sides. Pretty straightforward. Okay, while I was stripping the wires off, making them longer, I forgot I actually need to go through the base of the lamp, um, you know, to actually be able to have the wire going up through there. And I might have a little bit of a fun job doing this. Let's see if I can. It's a really long uh, base, so I'm gonna kind of put this on the end of this wire here and see if I can get up through there. Then you've got the base of your bulb base. Now you can screw in your wires. You just wrap them around and we're just going to tighten them up. Now we're going to slide that into this and make sure you got the cardboard on there because if you don't, you'll short it out. So make sure that's what the cardboard's are for. So slide that up in there. This is going to slide up on here and you'll hear it kind of snap into place. There we go. Now we can slide pull this wire down. Now it should be in good shape. I think I've got all the pieces on that I need to have on. I don't think I forgot anything. Yeah, now I need to tighten this stuff on here. And I would tighten the post up, but this, this particular lamp has like a, uh, um, a dent in this part of it right here. And uh, I'm not sure why, but I um, really can't um, tighten the post up for some reason. Most of the time they're just straight through. This particular one has a, a dent on it. I'm not sure why. But anyway, tighten this up as tight as you can get it. As it goes, tighten our set screw. We line that dent up with the piece inside of here. Basically, it's going to pull all my wires back there. You'll notice that it's back apart again. One thing not to forget, the little bolt and washer at the bottom that's in the middle of the wire underneath the base, don't forget that part. So I'm gonna, I put it, I pull the wire out, put it through there, put the, pull the wire all the way back up. I actually, um, I restripped the ends because it was getting kind of raggedy. So uh, I restripped them and retwisted them. Um, so I'm gonna now just rewire the socket base and, and things like that, just like I have, and then I'll, I'll pick it back up where I was putting the base on. Now I've got the wires all pulled back through here after putting everything back. I didn't forget anything this time. Um, just basically uh, tighten it back up the way it 
the way it was when you first took it off, the washer at the top and the bolt at the bottom. You can tell where someone has really tightened this one up a lot and pulled it more than it should have been, actually, uh, and cracked the base. Not that you can see it, but they did tighten it up too tight. And uh, so I don't want to, I'll try my best not to have to really crank down on it. Maybe it was loose at the top and then when they did it that way. I don't, I don't know. So. And that's where I want it. So now I'm just going to have to take my crescent wrench and just tighten up the bolt. And there it is. Ready to go. Okay, put the bulb in there. Let's see if it works. Cross your fingers. Yay! And this, there's the front of the lamp. And then the shade. Once I take the plastic off, yes, I will take the plastic off. But, Make sure the switch works. <laughs>